In our day-to-day -day life, we come across a number of objects. Some of them are hot and some are cold. List some objects which are used in daily life and classify them into hot and cold. The experiments conducted by Count Rumford and James Prescott in the beginning of the 19th century established that heat is a form of energy known as thermal energy. Take three bowls on the table. Mark A, B and C on them. Put ice cold water in bowl A, ordinary tap water, neither hot nor cold, in bowl B and hot water in bowl C. Put your right hand in bowl A containing cold water and left hand in bowl C containing hot water. Keep these for about 2-3 minutes. Then, take out both hands and simultaneously put in bowl B containing tap water. Your right hand, which was previously put in cold water, will feel hot. The left hand, which was previously put in hot water, will feel cold. Although, temperature of tap water is the same for both hands. Thus, we conclude that heat is an agent which produces the sensation of warmth in us. Measurement of Temperature A reliable measurement of hotness or coldness of a body is called its temperature. To measure temperature, a device called thermometer is used. Take some hot water in a beaker or a mug. Dip the thermometer in water. Wait till the mercury thread becomes steady and note the temperature. Now take out the thermometer from water. Observe carefully what happens now. Do you notice that as soon as you take the thermometer out of water, the level of mercury begins to fall. This means that the temperature must be red while the thermometer is still in water. Clinical thermometer is used by doctors to measure the temperature of the human body. Thermometric liquid used in the thermometer is mercury. Clinical thermometer is used in degree Fahrenheit and degree Celsius scales. In the Fahrenheit thermometer, the markings are from 90 degree Fahrenheit to 110 degree Fahrenheit. The normal temperature of human body is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. Each mark on the Fahrenheit thermometer is divided into 10 small equal parts. That is, one small division can be read as 0.1 degree Fahrenheit. In Celsius thermometer, markings are in Celsius scale from 35 degree Celsius to 42 degree Celsius. Doctors place the bulb of the thermometer in a patient's mouth. The mercury level of the thermometer rises to show the body temperature. Thus, doctors say the patient is suffering from fever. Take some tap water in a beaker. Dip the thermometer in water so that the bulb is immersed in water but does not touch the bottom or the sides of the container. Hold the thermometer vertically. Observe the movement of mercury in the thermometer. You will observe that the mercury will shift slightly up and down till the mercury thread becomes steady. Precautions while handling a thermometer Precautions to be followed while using a thermometer Handle it carefully as it can break easily. Remember, mercury is toxic and should not be swallowed. Always wash the thermometer before and after use. Always make sure that the mercury in the thermometer is below the normal mark before use. Read the temperature by keeping the thermometer at the eye level. Do not hold the thermometer by the bulb. Laboratory thermometer. It is used in the laboratory and has a range of minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. The bulb is filled with mercury or alcohol. The advantage of using alcohol over mercury is that alcohol is cheaper, less harmful and can measure much lower temperatures than mercury. Precautions while handling a laboratory thermometer While taking temperature with the laboratory thermometer, follow the same precautions as those of a clinical thermometer. The bulb of the laboratory thermometer should be always kept straight. 
Laboratory thermometers are generally more sensitive to temperature change. Hence, they instantly rises and drops on increase and decrease in temperature. That's why we cannot use it for measuring body temperature because as it is taken out of the mouth, there should not be a drop in temperature and thus it will give wrong reading of the temperature. The clinical thermometer comes with a king which solves this problem of sudden drop in temperature.